The unicameral Assemblée nationale or National Assembly is Guinea's legislative body. Since the country's birth in 1958, it has experienced political turmoil, and elections have been called at irregular intervals, and only since 1995 have they been more than the meaningless approval of a one-party state's slate of candidates. The number of seats has also fluctuated. It is currently at 114, with members selected by two different methods. Organization Two-thirds of the members 76, called députés, are directly elected through a system of proportional representation, using national party lists, while one-third are elected from single-member constituencies, using the simple majority or first past the post system. Members must be over 25 years old and serve five-year terms. The President of the National Assembly of Guinea is the presiding officer of the legislature. Claude Cory Condiano has been President of the National Assembly since January 2014. The Assembly is made up of 12 commissions Commission of Accountancy and Control Commission of Delegations Economic, Financial and Planning Commission Foreign Affairs Commission Commission for Legislation, Internal Rules of the Assembly, the General Administration and Justice Commission of Defense and Security Commission of Natural Resources and Sustainable Development Commission of Industries, Mines, Commerce and Handcraft Commission of Territorial Arrangement Commission of Civil Service Commission of Youth, Arts, Tourism and Culture Commission of Information and Communication <laughs> Duties and responsibilities The Assembly is responsible for ordinary laws and the government's budget. It ordinarily meets in two annual sessions, beginning the 5th of April and the 5th of October, or the next working day if a holiday, and lasting no more than 90 days. Special sessions can be called by either the President of Guinea or a majority of the Assembly members. Topic: <laughs> Building The National Assembly has its headquarters in the Palais du Pupil People's Palace, which was built with Chinese assistance. <inaudible> <inaudible> elections Topic: 1963 <inaudible> 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 Guinea was a one-party state, so the sole legal party, the Democratic Party of Guinea, African Democratic Rally, won all seats in the Assembly. Topic: 1968. The Democratic Party of Guinea, African Democratic Rally, once again secured all of the then 75 seats, and Ahmed Sekou Touré retained the presidency. Topic 1974. With no other parties legally allowed, the Democratic Party of Guinea African Democratic Rally took all now 150 seats, and Touré was re-elected president unopposed. Members were elected for seven-year terms. Topic 1980. The Democratic Party of Guinea – African Democratic Rally secured all now 210 seats as the only party, with Touré retaining the presidency. 1995 The first election in which multiple parties were permitted was boycotted by one of the main opposition parties, the Union of Democratic Forces, but 846 candidates from 21 parties contested the 114 seats. The Unity and Progress Party led the way with 71 seats, 41 proportionally and 30 by constituency, and its leader, General Lansana Conte, head of the country since a 1984 military coup d'état, became the second president. 2002 
The election was originally scheduled for April 2000, as the five-year terms of office expired, but was postponed four times for various reasons. The 30 June 2002 election was won by President Conte's Unity and Progress Party, with 61.57% of the vote and 85 of the 114 seats. Topic 2013. Elections were held on the 28th of September 2013. Alpha Condé's party, the Rally of the Guinean People, won the most seats, 53, but fell short of a majority. Topic. See also. List of political parties in Guinea. Politics of Guinea.